Hey everyone, welcome back to TK's Tech Talk. Today I'm going to be talking about how to upgrade the RAM and SSD in this ROG Strix G15 G513 and I believe this is a 2021 model. It's actually a friend's laptop and he wanted to upgrade the RAM and the SSD so we'll be looking at that today. I don't have the RAM upgrade right now but we will be putting a 970 EVO Plus in here as a secondary storage device because I believe this takes two M.2 SSDs. So this particular laptop is a Ryzen 7 4800H, I believe, with the RTX 3050, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, Ryzen 7, RTX 3050, and it has a 144 hertz display. It comes with a 512 GB PCIe Gen 3 SSD, though I believe it can handle PCIe Gen 4, and it can take up to 64 gigs of RAM, and it currently has uh, two 8 gig RAMs, DIM, sorry, SO DIMs, at DDR4-3200. So we can see the screws around the edges here and the back here, quite a few screws. Let me open those screws up and we'll take a look inside. Okay, so I've managed to get the back cover off. There's four, five, six, seven long screws, which are like this. And then the rest are at the long and the bottom are four short screws, which look like that. Okay, so make sure you put the right ones back in the right place. And the next thing you have to do is get some sort of plastic tool and work your way around these edges. Now, once you've got that off, there are actually some ribbons. So you need to be careful of this. The ribbons are connecting the LED strips at the bottom there. So you need to pull them out carefully, like so. I guess if you're really careful, you could just lay it down, but we're just gonna remove them to be safe. And then we have the laptop inside. So here we have two NVMe slots. So we're going to be in the second slot. It's nice to see that there's already a screw installed in there because a lot of SSDs don't come with screws. And then we have the two RAM slots under here. I'm just going to peel one of these, I believe these are anti-static pads uh, off the DIM so we can have a look at inside. So there's already two 8GB DIMs in there. Let's just have a look at the DIM that's already in there. And uh, this is a Samsung 8GB DDR4-3200. So we're going to put that back in for now because I don't have the RAM to install and put this cover back on and now let me get the drive and we can install it into this slot here right so here's the 970 EVO plus don't have the usual trusty kitchen knife today so let's open this box up there we go Take that packaging, and here we have 970 EVO plus one terabyte. Let's remove this screw. Push the drive in, make sure it's securely in. Put the screw back in. And there we go, the drive is installed. As simple as that. And that's basically how you upgrade the RAM and the SSD in this laptop. So I'm gonna screw it all back together now, and then I'll show you quickly in Disk Manager how to initialize this drive in Windows. Before we do that, I just wanna point out here that the SSDs sit around here. So there is a gap there, there's a vent, so there's some air flowing through that. So it, it might, you could try using a heat sink on that if you want, or just a thermal pad rather, a very thin one. Uh, maybe not a heat sink really won't fit. I don't, I really doubt that it will fit under this case. I don't think there's enough clearance there for that. But you might be able to get away with some thin heat sink or thermal spreader or something like that. So now let's go into Windows and see how to set this up in disk management. Right, so we're back into Windows and we're going to right click on the Windows icon, click on disk management. As soon as we open it, it should ask us to initialize the disk, and there we go, disk zero, GPT is best for now. Click OK, and here we have the unallocated volume. Click new simple volume, click next. We're gonna use all of the space, give it a drive letter, in this case D, and we're gonna give it no new name. Maybe we'll call it 1TB, and click next. Perform quick format, NTFS next finish 
and we've got File Explorer open down here and we can see here is our 1TB drive which is correctly working. Okay, so I hope you found this helpful. I'm going to put the model number and name for this specific laptop in case you're looking for how to upgrade it or any of the G513 I'm guessing are going to be more or less the same. They're all going to have two NVMe slots, probably PCIe Gen 4 in most laptops that are from 2021 onwards, though it does come with a Gen 3 drive. Not sure why that is, maybe for power or temperatures. And we've installed another 1TB drive in here. You can install 64 gigs of RAM, which is the plan, but I don't have the RAM. But I thought I'd mention that in this video anyway. If you have any questions about this laptop or any similar laptop that you want to upgrade, please feel free to ask any questions and I can try and help you with that. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.